name and the ID from the database, uh, and then we will store these values in our uh, session. So uh, right here we want to type in dollar sign underscore session. Now our session must be in caps right here, just like this, and it's going to be equal to a value. So our session user is going to be equal to our dollar sign db user. So we're going to set the session username to the database username that we've already gotten. And we're also going to do the same thing for the ID. Or we'll say, yeah, we'll just say that. So ID, and this will be set to db ID. So this is the code that physically logs the user in. Now, this must be included, which actually, this has to be at the top of any page that it's going to be used in. So, we'll throw up a PHP code block, and we will throw it up right there. So, this has to be at the top of any page that uses sessions. So, this is what logs the user in, and then we're just going to display a success message, if you will. And we will say... We will center. Uh, you have been logged in. Right there. So, if we test this, uh, which I'm going to stop this video soon. Um, if we test this, this will actually log the user in. What we've done so far but we really have no way of displaying or uh, we have really have no way of displaying anything to make sure a user is logged in yet so um, if we go to our index page and you see we have our entire form right here highlighted already so I'm gonna hit control X and it gets rid of everything so we cut it out so right here I'm gonna throw in a PHP code block and we're going to require and this is going to be in our design folder forward slash so in our design folder and we're gonna call it status dot php so we haven't created this file yet so it's created now our status dot php is going to display uh, the various information the control panel for the each user if you will so status dot php and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna get rid of everything so we're going to put in our PHP code block and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our session underscore start and so we're going to throw it there and in here we're going to get our user equals or username equals dot sign underscore session and in here we have user and our ID user underscore or user ID equals dollar sign underscore session so ID so that gets our username and our ID for the current user data is logged in and we're gonna say if dollar sign username so if our username is valid so if there is a user logged in but if there's not a user logged in, we're just going to uh, have a echo, and we're going to display our form. That's all we have right here. And if it's not logged in, if there is someone logged in, rather, we're going to say you are logged in as dollar sign username. So there we go. That's just to show that. Uh, that we can test the fact that a user is logged in. So if we go to our index page, you can see session start. Ah, because we need to put our session start at the top of our index page. There we go. So if we refresh, you see we have 
our login form because no user is logged in yet. So if we log in with basic nick and the password of password, click OK, you have been logged in. So if we click, go back to the home page, you can see you are logged in as basic nick. So we've gotten our username successfully from our database and everything is working properly. So this is uh, the end of the login tutorial. Um, and in the next video, we will get started on the user registration tutorial. Um, actually, in the next video, I will show you something very handy um, to know. And we will be doing it with JavaScript. And it's sort of a, a, a JavaScript redirect, if you will. Um, so uh, in the next video, that's what I will be showing you.